I reserved a seat at the comedy show last minute. It's a 1.5 hour show with five comics, and I think I literally laughed to tears. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to share with you how much I spend in a week living in New York City. I can see how money can be a touchy subject without telling you how the living cost in this city is absolutely ridiculous. Also, a while ago, I saw Shelby Church's video, What I Spent in a Week Living in New York City. I love how informative and realistic the video was, and I wish I saw that video before I visited New York. So I decided to make my own video. Let's get into it. How much money I spend in a week living in New York City. First off, I want to start with rent. Rent is really sky high in Manhattan. The median rent for a one bedroom apartment in New York is $3,150. The rent for my Airbnb was $3,381. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's actually really standard. Also, because there's a gym on the rooftop of my Airbnb, I don't need to pay extra for a gym. But I actually didn't pay the full price for my rent. I had a $1,920 coupon from Airbnb. So what happened was I booked a long-term stay on Airbnb, but the host canceled on me last minute. That really caused me a lot of hassle. So this was the compensation I received from Airbnb aside from my refund. So for this apartment, I ended up only paying $1,461. Again, this is only because I had that coupon. Divide that by four, it comes down to $365 per week. For transportation, you can pretty much get around just by subway. So I bought a monthly unlimited metro card, which cost $127. That's $31.75 per week. As for groceries, I just did grocery shopping the weekend before I started recording my expenses. I spent $44.79 at Trader Joe's. That usually lasts me a week-ish. Now let's get into my daily spendings. Monday, I started off doing a live stream and then I went and grabbed my favorite bagel. The bagel was $4.95 and it was pretty filling. After that, I went and did laundry. I ended up spending $9 on laundry because I wanted to wash my sheets. So I had to choose the bigger washers that cost $7. Wednesday was museum day. I woke up and made some food. Then I headed to new museum at Soho. I spent the whole afternoon there. The ticket was $20. I think it was pretty standard. In New York, some museums have pay as you wish days, which means you can pay whatever amount you like. If you're trying to save money, that's the way to go. For dinner, I got a slice of pizza. This place is called Prince Pizza and it's pretty famous. But $6 for a slice of pizza? Uh, I mean, Pizza is just pizza, you know? Having just one slice of pizza, of course, is not enough. So I heated up some leftovers from the weekend before. I totally forgot that I had curry left. It's not that fresh, but it cost me zero dollars. Thursday was an eventful day. I filmed a video, how to get your customs in English. Then I made some food. I got the short ribs from Trader Joe's. It was delicious. I spent the afternoon editing and right before sunset, I visited The Edge. It's an observatory that I've always wanted to go to. The ticket was $52. It's definitely on the pricier side, but I'd say if you're visiting New York, it's definitely worth seeing. It makes you feel like you're on the top of the world and everything is just under your feet. For dinner, I got Shake Shack. This is something I've been craving for a while. I'm not a vegetarian, but the shroom burger was so delicious. It was my first time watching a musical in New York. I didn't end up going to Broadway because I'm not that into musicals, but I'm very, very into The Office. It's my favorite show of all time. And the musical was basically all the classic scenes adapted into music. And I got all the references, so I was really proud of myself. The ticket was $63. After the show ended, it was already 10. So for safety reasons, I took a Uber back. It was $15. Friday was pretty much just a work day. I made some food at home for lunch. And for dinner, I went to this udon place I've heard good things about. I had the chicken udon, but honestly, it was just all right. Uh, total turned out to be $21. Um, uh, mm, yeah. I reserved a seat at a comedy show last minute. It's a 1.5 hour show with five comics. And I think I literally 
laugh to tears. I've always loved stand up, and getting to see it live instead of on YouTube was so much fun. But comedy shows are expensive. It's a $25 cover plus two items on the menu plus tips. In total, I think I paid almost $70 after tips. That's way more than I expected because I thought it was just a $25 cover. But honestly, in hindsight, I would totally do it again. It was one of the greatest nights I had in New York. Saturdays and Sundays are normally my work days. I don't like leaving the house on the weekends because it's usually really crowded outside. On Saturday, I worked all day and got katsudon around the evening because I was craving for some warm rice and soup. So for this whole week, I ended up spending $930.84. At the end of the day, New York is still very, very expensive to live in. I'd say the living cost is at least three to four times higher than in Taipei. I'm glad that I was able to spend a month here just to get a taste of it instead of committing to a long-term lease or job here. Overall, the verdict is New York is fun to visit, but I really don't see myself living here long-term. Unless the connections you make in the city help your career, I don't see how anyone can justify the price.